Okay, so what we want to have a look at now is creating a road and a parking area. So this is what I like to think of as my stripped site, as it were. Okay, now what I want to do is create um, an extra area within that. So I'm going to edit the sketch. So this is a bit different to perhaps what you might be expecting, but I do have reasons for doing so. So what I'm going to do is just offset. I've got to offset at 6,000. I want my road coming off that end over there. All right. Um, let's use the offset at 20,000 now. Oops, that's 200. There we go. Right, that's going to be the base of my car park. My car park is going to be um, 12, 16.8. And pop. There we go. Always got to be careful when offsetting. Make sure you get the correct direction. And let's do another offset of, say, 10 meters. And then we'll do 40 meters for the car park itself. And we'll just tidy this up a little bit now before we go any further. So let's zoom in a bit. Six meters from there is where I want that one. And an offset of six meters to come down from there. That can be adjusted and just enjoin an extra line from there. Make sure you snap onto the endpoints. Okay, now we'll use the fillet okay i'll set the fillet to 4000 and do those two and then i'll use the offset at 6000 to do the outer curve and we'll just trim off the bits we don't want and then of course we need to remove the little bit just down by here And join and tick. Oh, continue. Just missed a bit there. Let's tidy that up. All right. So there is the hole in the site now, ready. All right, we can see I did nick my little uh, thing there, so I will have to adjust that again at some point, but it's no need to do it at the moment. So now I want to draw a new topo surface in that area so I can make full use of the customization of its construction. So let's go back to site, topo solid, and let's just draw out a new topo solid. Of course, I can pick lines now which will make this a bit quicker because I've already drawn the lines out. So I don't need to draw them all again. And then we'll just do one line to close that area by there. Now we're going to have a look at the construction. So we'll click Edit Type. We'll duplicate. And what we'll do is Road and say OK. Edit the structure. Now as we can see we got the 1,000 1 meter thick of earth at the moment. So let's insert a couple layers on top of that. And what we'll do is change the thicknesses. So the finish layer is going to of course be like a tarmac. So we can click on that and just search for tarmac and we get um, asphalt um, and we got a few different ones we can pick from
So I'm going to go for a dark one. I'll load that in, say OK, give that a thickness. Now I want some sort of um, hardcore layer. All right, which would act as a sub base. I don't know if they do a sub base actually in here. No, so we'll just go for hardcore. Okay. If I go on hardcore, like hardcore. There we go. We'll okay that one. Right. We'll make that say three hundred. All right. So you. And now I'll deduct. That's 360 from this earth layer. Okay, now obviously you could build this up in more layers, less layers, etc. I also want to allow for this to be slightly above the soil. Um, so I'm probably going to say round that up to 400. And then I can say put this at 600. And say OK. And OK and press tick and let's have a little look at that in 3d so now we have a layer and we can see as well that it does have its own sort of structure which is nice um, which there we go so it's just created and we can edit the structure we can edit the heights of that if we need to in the future add more layers of material and it's just a very good way of doing this and creating elements like they are floors um, but you've also then got the ability to actually change levels to them and make them angled which is a substantial improvement so that is, um, to give you a slight example of that, let's go on to here and let's do modify sub elements. And now we could put a little bit of a camber on this. So what we could do is add some points. I'll go to the site plan to do it. Now, currently we've set those, uh, I'll press escape. If we just press on that, that's on a zero look. There we go. So let's to add a point, and it doesn't need much of one. So we'll stick some down the middle, like that. And then perhaps just one down the middle of the car park to there. And we'll have another one on the outside by there. And what we'll do now, we'll click and I'll use the control key to highlight all the ones I want at the same time and I'll just change that to 50 and press enter and what we've achieved is just giving that road a little bit of a camber which is quite a nice little feature. Now obviously you could do that more precisely with more dots. Um, maybe use some detail or construction lines to help you be a bit more accurate. But that again is just another little feature which we didn't have before. I'm just going to have a little look as well. If we go here and create a section and if we have a look in our section and let's change the detail level now look how we can see the different layers of construction which is something that you know is very nice to have and how that's actually gone with the camber of the road as well so there is definitely a significant improvement um, in the new version of Revit for showing those. All right, so that concludes this little video. Um, look forward to the next installment.